Hey, 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 tricky quiz number 24. All right, this one either you know or don't. To see if you can, tr you can't try, work with me. Number one, can you sneeze without closing your eyes? Turns out the answer is you can't. Okay, number two, quick, 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 quick. Which is greater, penny a day, nickel a week, dime a month, or quarter quarterly? Come on, give me an answer. And no surprise if you think about it, come on, you thought about it. <laughs> the smaller the unit, but more frequent the time, turns out to be uh, better. Now, mindful, these aren't a large amounts, but imagine if you're thinking about, say, oh, uh, I'm going to save uh, 40 cents a gallon, and that's only weekly. Well, it turns out that's $300 a year. See what I mean? Okay, number three. What is a serif? Not sheriff, serif. Okay, everybody want to join in with me? I shot the serif. It was not a comma from Oxford, you see. Okay, serifs are those little pointy things at the end of letters. Okay? Okay, a lot of words have really interesting etymologies. I don't mean entomology. That's a study of insects. And by the way, the etymology of that word is sliced. Because insects are sliced into three pieces, but I digress. What are the origins of the word laundry and sincere? Well, if you know some French or Spanish, you might know that the word is respectively lavandry or lavanderia. And it comes from the word lavender. Of course, the Germans say wash salon, but that's another matter, yeah? But in any case, it comes from that because you, they used to wash with lavender. How about sincere? It means without wax. Romans used to import Greek statues, and uh, the cracked ones were mined with wax. Those without wax were uh, sincere. Well, as always, our last question is a flag question. Should be easy... Talvez muy fácil. What differences exist between the flags of Cuba and Puerto Rico? Well, Cuba, first of all, has a little bit longer flag, and they're basically the same, except the red and the blue are exchanged. Uh, the uh, Puerto Ricans taking the pattern from the U.S. Also, another notable difference in terms of accents, the Cubans are kind of uh, Castellano, 